YouTube. I'm um, just coming by to do a video. I'm not sure how quick it's going to be, but um, yeah, some things to talk about. Um, <clears throat> I'm currently 14 weeks. I'll be 15 weeks on Wednesday. Um, so first I want to talk about the Sano. I posted um, the Sano yesterday and um, I was kind of disappointed. Um, I went to a place called, I think it's called 3D Baby. So the whole thing is about getting a 3D, 4D Sano, but clearly mine was a 2D Sano. Um, I guess because, I don't know. I don't know, I think they may have made a mistake. But um, when I asked the woman about it, she was like, uh, that's the package that I paid for. But when I look at the package and the emails, everything says 3D, 4D. Even on the Sano, on the top it says 3D. Uh, maybe it's just their name or whatever but um so anyway i'll rewind a little bit um so she does a sano and the baby is literally sitting on her legs i'm, I'm almost convinced it's a girl i um, sitting on her legs and i literally like there's a long pause in the video where i actually went to the bathroom um and she was hoping that she would move she was like shaking my stomach to get her to move um and it looks like towards the end she did get some some video of what looks like a girl um but she didn't want to say for sure because i think maybe she knew i wanted a boy so she just wants you know wants to be sure before i go shopping because really i haven't gone shopping at all um because i really don't want gender neutral stuff i'm not really big into like pink or blue but i want to buy stuff that's specifically for a girl or a boy um so i haven't done much shopping i have um gotten the crib and the dresser <clears throat> but you know that's definitely gender neutral um so gotten that um so also in terms of the sano we were kind of i was asking questions at the end of it like you know why isn't it 3d 40 um they're rescheduling me for next saturday so i can go in and um see if we can you know tell for sure the gender and um so like in the middle of the conversation the tech comes out and like interrupts the conversation to talk about another client so she you know the conversation was like broken up and she went to go talk to the tech and so then the i guess it was a new girl and she was like well okay like the conversation was over and i'm just like whatever so i leave and i'm like rather pissed off so the woman that was um that was pulled away by the tech she kind of followed me outside and was like is everything okay and i was like you know i'm just a little disappointed in the fact that it's not 3d 4d then like the pictures that she took i don't know maybe i expected too much but it was like a pictures of like a random leg and stuff like that when there was so much other stuff going on in the sino that she could have got i just felt the pictures weren't that great um and what else so what she told me is that she would talk to the manager at the Douglasville location that I'm going to next week. She talked to her about it and um, I guess see if I can, I don't know, whatever. So I had to call and follow up with her. Um, and then she was like, please don't call corporate. And I'm just like, why would I call corporate based off what happened? So I think there was a mistake that was made because I don't understand why a place that is called 4D or 3D or whatever would give a 2D sonogram. And I'm thinking maybe if it was in 3D, we could see things a little bit better. That's, I thought that's the whole purpose of 3D. But anyway, so moving forward. Um, I had a doctor's visit last week. It went really well. Um, heard her heartbeat. Um, everything's going good. I've been still on progesterone and oil, um, but it's been hard to do it on a daily basis. So I was doing good to get it done every other day. Um, but then I would feel guilty. So I asked her about that. And, um, <clears throat> she um told me to stop taking it and that they would do my progesterone and if it's not like over 15 then i could take like pills and um so i would actually prefer that over to, you know doing the injections i don't mind taking a pill every day but the injections are just you know becoming like excuse me impossible so um yeah so um she told me if i hadn't heard back from them by monday that um to call them and so it's looking pretty good because I know last time when my progesterone was really low, they called me like on Friday, even though they were closed. So I'm thinking my progesterone is probably, you know, in the normal range so I can stop taking um, pills or anything like that. Um, other than that, the visit was short and sweet. Um, we did talk about, I know sometimes like when I eat, I'm having issues with um, food. I don't really, 
I can't say I don't really want to eat, but it's like this love-hate relationship type thing. Like, I see something, it looks good, and I eat it, and then after that, I feel, like, really bad. So, um, unless it's, like, fruit or pretty much just fruit, because I was eating salad a lot when I was out of town, and I know it's I know it's good for me. I know I should eat it, but my body was just, like, not feeling it. I would feel horrible afterwards. Um, so, what I have noticed is, like, if I eat just, like, a regular size meal, um, I feel just like extremely full afterwards um, and so she said that I should eat smaller meals which I don't really like eating all day long it makes me feel fat so I am going to try and then she did tell me to lay off the fruit so I'm like okay back at the drawing board and the thing with me and food is I'm like really wasteful like I'll make something like one of my favorite things that I make I'll, I'll make that cook it and you know um, I'll make it or whatever and I'll eat it for like one day but I just won't eat the leftovers because the next day I'm completely grossed out by it um, and then I just have like all this food in my fridge that I have to throw away because I don't really eat food that's um, left over after a certain point in time anyway so if it's been in my fridge for like two days it's a no-go anyway so it's just I'm being very wasteful so I'm trying to figure out how to work through that um, let's see the weight gain um so prior to getting pregnant like when I first started the process I was at a good weight um for my height and my age and all that but through trying to conceive for like a year and a half or whatever my relationship I don't know but I gained like 40 pounds um so based on that when I look at the apps and do, do reading and stuff I should only gain like 15 to 20 pounds throughout my pregnancy so since I haven't been eating probably more than I did before I got pregnant probably been eating a little bit less um, I would say um, I haven't gained any weight um, so as of I, I guess I was 14 weeks then yeah so as of 14 weeks I hadn't gained any weight I put back on the five pounds that I lost before I got pregnant five to seven pounds that I lost like immediately because I started eating carbs and um, fruit again um, so I put those pounds back on, but I haven't put on anything else. In fact, I've lost a pound since the last time I went in. So um, I was actually pretty happy about that because I know they said in the second trimester you will gain um, a pound a week. Um, so if that applies to me, then that will have me over the 15 to 20 pounds that I'm supposed to gain. In the tech, when I was getting my ultrasound done, she was like, wow, you look kind of small for 14 weeks. Um, and she was like, do you think you're going to get a big belly? And I was like, I don't know. But she was just like, um, I guess since I was an athlete, I did work out. Like, as I'm gaining, like, all this weight, I'm working out more so than I have been, like, since high school. So it's just kind of crazy. I probably gained more muscle than fat um, over that time. But anyway, she was looking at my stomach, and she was saying that I probably won't get too big because my stomach looks kind of toned. I'm like, really? My stomach? Okay. Um, so, but that's what she said. Uh, let's see, buys. I went out of town. I'll get on the travels after the buys. Um, but I went out of town, and um, mostly while I was in Colorado, I, I saw this well, some cute stuff that I wanted to get the baby. Um, it's kind of interesting. I didn't buy anything for myself, but my main focus was just like buying things for the baby. So it's neat to watch a transition into motherhood where it's not all about you and what you want and what you see that you like. It's more so you know, getting things for the baby, so I, I like that feeling. So I got this, um, it's a little, I guess it has the Beanie Baby logo, I guess it's considered a Beanie Baby, but <clears throat> my grandmother as a child, she used to always buy us these monkeys, and we were so bad, we would like fight with them and hit each other with them, so they would always tear up, and she would always buy us more, um, and I've just been seeing them in the stores, like recently I know Walmart sells them and stuff, so when I saw it at the airport, I had to get it. He's so cute, and then it's kind of rainbowy and cute, so yeah. Um, so I like that, and then I got these from this little cute store um, in the mall. No, it wasn't the mall, it was at the airport. So I got this one too, so yeah. Those are cute, and they're like, this one is three to six months, the little onesie, and the bib is zero to 12 months, so, no, zero to 24 months, I guess they never really outgrow bib until they stop wearing them, that makes sense. Um, so, my travels, 
I went to um, first I, for, for school we have to do like practicums um, for my masters I did two practicums I went to the first one was in Atlanta which was very convenient it was like downtown the second one was in Arizona um, which was cool because the hotel was around a lot of um, the hotel was around a lot of shops and stuff so I didn't need a car I could just walk out and you know the mental health um, program is a lot different from the business program like we're all like bonding and crying together not really but you know we're just really bonding and close some of the people that I met during that program I'm like kind of you know a friends slash associates with now we kind of connect on Facebook sometime and um <clears throat> but in the business program like wow these people I was working in groups with them and they were literally arguing and I'm just like what the hell they're arguing about oh you don't listen to me because I don't know we were trying to do this project and they were I don't they were arguing it was just crazy and I was laughing at them um and they were like why are you laughing I'm like y'all are funny and I was just I got a kick out of it um so anyway so I went to Denver for that for like four days in Denver was tough on me like literally practicums are difficult anyway because we're in class from like eight o'clock in the morning to six at night and then it's hardcore a lot of interesting good stuff it's not like a boring um you know seminar or whatever it's stuff that you really need to know to help you get through the program so it's valuable and but it's exhausting and being pregnant i mean after lunch i'm sitting in there holding back throwing up because the altitude is so high to so my nose is like congested the whole time um I packed the wrong clothes I packed like these jeans I cannot fit so I'm wearing my jeans unbuttoned like every day well not like where people could tell I had my little Bella band thing on but I don't like wearing that um I, I would rather have jeans that just fit so it was it was it was pretty bad um and then after that after the practicum was over I would go to my hotel room and sleep until it was time to go back the next day um and then I would I ate salad like every night and my body is just not feeling salad even at home when I make and cook salad not cook salad but when I make a salad which is like one of my favorite foods my body is just not it's a no-go um and I, that's the one of the main things I do waste so I'm not even making it anymore until maybe like the middle of the second trimester I don't know um so Denver was interesting um we we're preparing for our research topic um that we're going to do for our dissertation I'm doing my program is organizational management with a specialization in leadership so um I finally figured out my research topic I went there with no idea now I have my topic which is which is good I met that goal um but in the meantime, I had a 10-page paper that was due. My teacher gave me a, a, an extension on it. So I'm like, okay, cool. I have a two-day extension, so I will be able to finish it in Oklahoma. Right. So I, um, <clears throat> well, because to rewind a little bit, um, since Colorado is so close to Oklahoma, I was just like, you know, I'll stop by, go home for a couple of days since I hadn't been home in a while. So I went home um, for three days and... I really, I didn't get to see my grandmother, I didn't get to see, I saw one of my favorite aunts for like 15 minutes right before I was supposed to get on the plane. I did hang out with all my cousins, which was awesome, they had a barbecue, so that was cool, but um, it was kind of a waste, and my paper was late, I didn't get my paper turned in literally till like four days later, so that was difficult, but anyway, um... In terms of school, I was going to um, take a term off, which is kind of like not really how I like to do school. Like with my bachelor's and my master's, I went straight through, you know. Um, but I was thinking with the baby, I was going to take some time off. And I think, I think not. I'm going to go ahead and just get it done. Um, school doesn't take up a lot of my time. And I, would, I think I, feel, I would feel better if I just worked through it rather than taking a break off. Um, so that's where I am now. We'll see as time passes. Um, clothes, I feel like I have days before I have nothing to wear. It's getting kind of hard <laughs> to, to get dressed. It takes me a lot longer to find things that I can wear that are comfortable with my stomach or whatever is not hanging out. So, um, I want to go shopping. I've, I've looked, at, you know, I've gone to different stores to pick out clothes or whatever, but I just, I don't like the maternity clothes. So I'm trying to think of an alternative because it just seems like when I was looking at these pants 
and it was like a lot of the pants they all have like sequins on them i'm just like i don't wear sequins on my pants so i don't um yeah it was a challenge i know shirt wise i can just buy bigger shirts and i have some attorney shirts already anyway but just in terms of pants it seems like it's gonna be a struggle um because i'm kind of i guess i'm kind of picky i don't know it just seems like maternity clothes they don't put that much thought into it and then they're like 30 bucks you know for some ugly pants i'm like i can't do it so um if i don't figure out something i'll be in sweatpants or spandex and i cannot stand spandex so i have to get my life together um also i am moving i just moved here four months ago but um this is my first time in gwinnett county which is kind of close to not kind of close it's like 30 minutes away from where i usually live and it's just like um i can't blame it on gwinnett county i just don't like uh, my neighbors and stuff um i don't like the way they don't manage their kids and they're just just kind of unruly out here i think not really bad it's just i don't want my child growing up in this area um even though it looks nice it's just it's not then how i got out of my lease was my neighbors above me they are just like really loud i mean the one and a half year old like sprints through the house all day long i'm sure she's like the poster child for adhd she just it's really bad um to the point to where it's kind of stressful and it um it interferes with my sleep and i know if there's a newborn here it would be a problem for everybody so i went and talked to them about it and they were like well if you just give us a 60-day notice you can move and then not to mention it's only a two-bedroom i want a little more space and i want to find somewhere where i can stay for a long period of time and this is not this is definitely not it so i am moving um still looking for a place i'm excited about it i really want to get back to the cab county my office is like 45 minutes away in the morning it takes an hour to get there so it kind of i don't go into my office as much as i need to and i just need to be closer this was kind of a rush decision um so yeah um also one of the things i've noticed about myself is that i'm a lot more bitchy <laughs> than i usually am um <clears throat> i guess what i would how i would describe it as a therapist is my my coping skills are not um what they used to be and so in a lot of instances because i'm not the type of person to be like argumentative and you know going off on somebody i'm more so i'll just walk away so i find myself walking away um <laughs> when i when i get upset on a lot of things um not a lot of things but just like walking away more so um because i'm irritated and then when i think about it think back about it later i'm just like you know there was definitely you know other things you could have done in that situation to not have to just get pissed off and walk away like <laughs> it was funny i was ordering one of my favorite sandwiches a couple of days ago and it was kind of late at night i don't know i don't know but the guy like i ordered the sandwich and i ordered it you know really specific because that's just the way i like it so i, I was ordering the sandwich um and he was just like huh so i repeated it again huh i repeat it again then he's like well what kind of sandwich was that and i just like drove away like i can't do this with you right now and then he was like yelling at the out of the window at me and i just kept going like i, I can't do this with you like if you're not going to pay attention to my order then i, I must leave because you don't want to get an attitude with the person making your food so i just figure i'll just eat somewhere else um so yeah that's pretty much it um yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, so I'm really looking forward to the sonogram for next week. Um, I also have um, in December, the first week of December, I have a really busy week in terms of baby stuff. Um, I have an appointment, then I have my official 18-week gender scan, and then I'm viewing the birthing center at the hospital, so I'm, I'm excited about that. I also, something on my to-do list, I need to go ahead and sign up for hypnobirth. Um, I think that would work, I think I've mentioned it before, I think that would work well for me in terms of uh, doing it the natural way and not wanting, wanting uh, drugs. So that is my goal to do it naturally. I don't want a C-section, I don't want an epidural. So, yeah, but, um, alrighty.